Okay, this is how to create a Facebook subscribe button directly on your website. The one that looks like this. And you can customize it. We'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, go to developers.facebook.com slash apps. Okay, once you get there, you click on create a new app. Name your app, the app display name. Leave the app namespace um, blank. Click I agree. And then continue. And then type in this, if you can read it. Usually takes me twice. Okay, once we get in here, um, it'll create your app ID and your app secret, and that's okay because I'm going to delete this application when I'm done. Okay, make sure your email is correct. Remember, leave the app name space blank. Type in your domain name without the HTTP on it. Do not type this in there or it will not work. So you just type in your domain. Just like that, and it will automatically turn into a box. Okay, choose your category, and then on the bottom tick website, and this is where you type your URL of where the app is going to be at. So, and then that's it. Save changes. Okay, and now you're ready to create your subscribe button. Um, so go to developers.facebook.com slash doc slash reference slash plugin slash subscribe. Okay, I'll put these links directly on the uh, YouTube video. Okay, right here, you fill in your profile URL, which you already have uh, Mark Zuckerberg's in there, so this will be what it looks like, and you can change it to what you want it to look like. And In the preview here, you can see what it'll look like. Uh, the most common one is the standard and you can change the colors of course and if you have a black or a dark background you can change the font to your whatever kind of font you like you can change the width or whatever okay so when you're done with that click get code okay now there's two codes here um, oh yeah, this is why you created the app ID so you can choose you know whatever app ID you want to use with this. I like the HTML5 the best so okay you select this one and then go into your WordPress or your website wherever you edit. Okay, I need to log in. I guess I'll log in with Facebook. Okay. Go to your widgets. Okay, and then find a text widget. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to zoom down here a little bit. Okay. Okay, pull a text widget wherever paste your code in there. Okay. Now you have to go back and get the bottom code as well. Okay. Paste that here. Save your text widget. Visit your web page. And there it is. If you have a different web page you can change the way these uh, formats are so we can go we can actually go back and get rid of all of this text if we don't like it like this right here we can show faces or not show faces for it to fit properly on my website we'll probably need this code here I'm not sure which one changes the formatting of it, but we'll just go ahead and, and rewrite the whole thing. OK. 
Okay, we'll have to get rid of this and we'll go back and get the new code for that. And we'll paste in here. This is just a text widget on the sidebar. You can put it in your footer or panels or wherever, as long as it's in an area where it accepts HTML. Okay, so we go back to our page and reload it. It's already reloaded, so... And there's our subscribe button. So that's how you do it.